Hello, welcome to English Speak Up Academy YouTube channel. Do you want to be able to speak English fluently? Do you want to have better listening comprehension and pronunciation? Then welcome to our new video to improve your English listening and speaking skills. In this video, we'll dive into a fun and interactive learning experience. We are going to practice practical real-world English conversations today. The conversations are focused on different topics that are used in our daily life. Once you master these conversations, you'll be able to talk confidently in English. Please listen to us carefully and pay attention to how we pronounce words and phrases. Then repeat the sentences after us. You may pause the video anytime if you want. Remember, if you want to speak English fluently, only listening is not enough. Passive listening will not get you anywhere. You need to practice speaking in order to be able to speak English fluently. Learning to speak English is just like learning to ride a bicycle. The more you practice, the better you get at it. Then there will come a day when you won't have to put any effort. You'll be able to speak fluently and effortlessly. That day will come soon if you keep practicing. Just be with us and keep learning and practicing. Now hit the like icon and subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And now you're ready for today's lesson. Let's get started. Hi, I'm new here. Nice to meet you. Hi, welcome to the neighborhood. Where's the nearest grocery store? The closest one is on Oak Avenue. Is it safe around here? Absolutely. This neighborhood is very safe. No worries. How about parks or recreation? We're lucky to have a lovely park just a few blocks away. Any good restaurants you recommend? You should try Bella's Bistro on Main Street. They have fantastic Italian food. Is there a hospital close by? Yes, Greenfield Medical Center is nearby. What about public transportation? The bus stop is right at the corner of Elm Street and Fourth Avenue, and buses run regularly downtown. Are there good schools here? Absolutely, Maple Elementary is excellent. Do people usually walk or drive around here? Both depends on distance. Any nice places for a walk? The trail along the river bank is beautiful, especially during sunset. How's the weather? Summers are typically warm and inviting, while winters can be chilly with occasional snowfall. Any local events or festivals? We have the annual Harvest Festival in October. Where can I get a haircut? Right around the corner, there's a salon called Joe's Barber Shop. Hi, I'm new here. Nice to meet you. Hi, welcome to the neighborhood. Where's the nearest grocery store? The closest one is on Oak Avenue. Is it safe around here? Absolutely. This neighborhood is very safe. No worries. How about parks or recreation? We're lucky to have a lovely park just a few blocks away. Any good restaurants you recommend? You should try Bralas Bistro on Main Street. They have fantastic Italian food. Is there a hospital close by? Yes, Greenfield Medical Center is nearby. What about public transportation? The bus stop is right at the corner of Elm Street in Fourth Avenue, and buses run regularly downtown. Are there good schools here? Absolutely, Maple Lada Murphy is excellent. Do people usually walk or drive around here? Both depends on distance. Any nice places for a walk? The trail along the river bank is beautiful. Especially during sunset. How's the weather? Summers are typically warm and inviting, while winters can be chilly with occasional snowfall. Any local events or festivals? 
We have the annual harvest festival in October. Where can I get a haircut? Right around the corner, there's a salon called Joe's Barber Shop. Are there any gyms nearby? Yes, there's a gym called Fit Plus just two blocks away. How's the community here? It's friendly. Everyone knows everyone. Is there a library close by? Yes, the town library is located on Oak Street, next to the park. Any good places to fish? You can head over to Lakeview Park for some great fishing spots. Are there any museums? The art museum is downtown. How's the traffic situation? Not bad. Not too crowded. What's the cost of living? It's reasonable, not too high. Are there any job opportunities? There are several job openings listed on the local paper. What's the main industry here? Agriculture is significant here. Is there a post office? Yes, the post office is located on Oak Street, just off the main square. How do people commute to work? Many use public transport, some private cars. Any good spots for hiking? The trails in Cedar Ridge Park is popular. Is there a pharmacy nearby? Yes, there's a pharmacy right next to the grocery store on Maple Avenue. Are there any gyms nearby? Yes, there's a gym called Feet Plus just two blocks away. How's the community here? It's friendly. Everyone knows everyone. Is there a library close by? Yes, the town library is located on Oak Street. Next to the park. Any good places to fish? You can head over to Layfield Park for some great fishy spots. Are there any museums? The art museum is downtown. How's the traffic situation? Not bad. Not too crowded. What's the cost of living? It's reasonable. Not too high. Are there any job opportunities? There are several job openings listed on the local paper. What's the main industry here? Agriculture is significant here. Is there a post office? Yes, the post office is located on Oak Street, just off the main square. How do people commute to work? Many use public transport, some private cars. Any good spots for hiking? The trails in Cedar Ridge Park is popular. Is there a pharmacy nearby? Yes, there's a pharmacy right next to the grocery store on Maple Avenue. Where can I find a bank? All the banks in town are located on Main Street near the town square. Is there a movie theater? Yes, on Elm Street. Are there any historical sites? The old mill is a popular historical site. How's the internet connection? It's reliable, no issues. Do you have a local newspaper? Yes, we have a weekly newspaper called Daily Gazette. Where is the nearest post office? The nearest post office is located on Oak Street, right next to the library. Any good places to shop? Main Street has shops. How's the noise level? It's usually pretty quiet around here, especially at night. Are there any commuted events? We have a summer concert series in the park every Friday night. Is there a community center? Yes, there's a community center on Elm Street. Are there any local traditions? There's a cultural event every week. Where's the nearest gas station? The nearest gas station is on Highway 10, just off Elm Street. Where can I find a bank? All the banks in town are located on Main Street, 
near the town square. Is there a movie theater? Yes, on Elm Street. Are there any historical sites? The Old Mill is a popular historical site. How's the internet connection? It's reliable, no issues. Do you have a local newspaper? Yes, we have a weekly newspaper called Daily Gazette. Where is the nearest post office? The nearest post office is located on Oak Street, right next to the library. Any good places to shop? Main Street has shops. How's the noise level? It's usually pretty quiet around here, especially at night. Are there any community events? We have a summer concert series in the park every Friday night. Is there a community center? Yes, there's a community center on Elm Street. Are there any local traditions? There's a cultural event every week. Where's the nearest gas station? The nearest gas station is on Highway 10, just off Elm Street. How's the air quality here? The air quality is excellent. No pollution. Any good places for hiking? There are some great hiking trails with breathtaking views. How's the nightlife in town? It's fairly quiet, with a few bars and pubs for those looking for a relaxed evening out. Any good places for pizza? Definitely check out Mario's Pizzeria. They make the best pizza in town. Is there a local farmers market? Yes, there's a farmers market every Saturday morning at downtown square. Where can I buy fresh vegetables? You can buy fresh vegetables at the farmers market every Saturday morning at downtown square. Where can I find a mechanic? Tony's Auto Workshop is on Cedar Street. Are there any local parks? Yes, Cedar Park is in downtown. How's the public transportation system? The buses are quite reliable, running on schedule. Any local traditions or festivals? We have a harvest festival. Are there any sports facilities? The community center has some sports facilities. Where is the nearest hardware store? You'll find Ace Hardware on Elm Street, right by the post office. How's the air quality here? The air quality is excellent. No pollution. Any good places for hiking? There are some great hiking trails with breathtaking views. How's the nightlife in town? It's fairly quiet, with a few bars and pubs for those looking for a last evening out. Any good places for pizza? Definitely check out Mario's Pizzeria. They make the best pizza in town. Is there a local farmers market? Yes, there's a farmers market every Saturday morning at downtown square. Where can I buy fresh vegetables? You can buy fresh vegetables at the farmers market every Saturday morning at downtown square. Where can I find a mechanic? Tony's Auto Workshop is on Cedar Street. Are there any local parks? Yes, Cedar Park is in downtown. How's the public transportation system? The buses are quite reliable, running on schedule. Any local traditions or festivals? We have a harvest festival. Are there any sports facilities? The community center has some sports facilities. Where is the nearest hardware store? You'll find Ace Hardware on Elm Street, 
right by the post office. How is the local school system? Very good. Highly rated. Are there any local sports teams? We have a soccer team. How is the recycling program here? Almost everything is recycled here. Are there any community gardens? Yes, behind the library. Where can I get a cup of coffee? There's a cafe on Maple Avenue. Any good places to walk dogs? The park is pet friendly. How's the cell phone reception? It's good, no issues. Are there any commuted events? We have a holiday parade. Where's the nearest pharmacy? On Oak Avenue, near the park. How's the local public transportation? Buses run regularly downtown. Are there any good bookstores? The Book Nook is on Cedar Street. Where could I find a dry cleaner? Mike's Cleaners is on Maple Avenue. Any good places for a picnic? The park is perfect. How is the local school system? Very good, highly rated. Are there any local sports teams? We have a soccer team. How is the recycling program here? Almost everything is recycled here. Are there any community gardens? Yes, behind the library. Where can I get a cup of coffee? There's a cafe on Maple Avenue. Any good places to walk dogs? The park is pet friendly. How's the cell phone reception? It's good, no issues. Are there any community events? We have a holiday parade. Where's the nearest pharmacy? On Oak Avenue, near the park. How's the local public transportation? Buses run regularly downtown. Are there any good bookstores? The Book Nook is on Cedar Street. Where can I find a dry cleaner? Mike's Cutimers is on Maple Avenue. Any good places for a picnic? The park is perfect. How's the local job market? It's stable with opportunities. Any recommendations for local food? Try the diner on Maple Avenue. Where's the nearest community center? On Cedar Avenue, downtown. How's the local Wi-Fi coverage? Good. No dead zones. Where can I find a vet? Cedar Veterinary Clinic is nearby, just a short drive away. Any good spots for star beezing? The hilltop is an ideal spot for stargazing on clear nights. How's the traffic during rush hour? It can get a bit congested, but it's manageable. Where's the nearest hardware store? There are plenty on Oak Avenue. How's the local job market? It's stable with opportunities. What's your favorite TV series? I really enjoy Friends. Do you have a favorite type of art? Personally, I like abstract art. How's the local job market? It's stable with opportunities. Any recommendations for local food? Try the diner on Maple Avenue. Where's the nearest community center? 
on Cedar Avenue downtown. How's the local Wi-Fi coverage? Good. No dead zones. Where can I find a vet? Cedar Veterinary Clinic is nearby, just a short drive away. Any good spots for stargazing? The hue top is an ideal spot for stargazing on clear nights. How's the traffic during rush hour? It can get a bit congested, but it's manageable. Where is the nearest hardware store? There are plenty on Oak Avenue. How's the local job market? It's stable with opportunities. What's your favorite TV series? I really enjoy Friends. Do you have a favorite type of art? Personally, I like abstract art. How are you feeling today? Much better than yesterday. Are you ready to practice English? Yes, I am. Let's get started. How did you get here? I took the bus. Do you always take the bus? No, sometimes I come walking. How far do you live from here? Not very far. Just a ten-minute walk. Are you British? No, I'm not. I'm American. Do you speak English? Yes, it's my native language. What's your name? My name is Daniel Smith. Good to meet you. Pleased to meet you too. How was your day? Really good. Are you happy today? Yes, I am. Where in America are you from? I'm from San Francisco. Is it a big city? Yes, it's really big. Were you born there? Yes, I was. How are you feeling today? Much better than yesterday. Are you ready to practice English? Yes, I am. Let's get started. How did you get here? I took the bus. Do you always take the bus? No, sometimes I come walking. How far do you live from here? Not very far. Just a ten-minute walk. Are you British? No, I'm not. I'm American. Do you speak English? Yes, it's my native language. What's your name? My name is Daniel Smith. Good to meet you. Pleased to meet you too. How was your day? Really good. Are you happy today? Yes. I am. Where in America are you from? I'm from San Francisco. Is it a big city? Yes, it's really big. Were you born there? Yes, I was. Do you live there? Yes, I do. How old are you? I'm twenty-two. What do you do? I'm an engineer. Do you work from home? No, I work in an office as well as outdoors. Where do you live now? I live in New York. How long have you been living there? I've been living here for five years. Do you like it there? Yes, it's a great city with fantastic people. What's your address? Fifteenth Avenue. What's your email address? You can email me at daniel dot smith at gmail dot com. What's your telephone number? My number is three twenty one six five four nine eight seven. Can I ask you a few personal questions? Certainly. Are you married? No, I'm single. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't have. Can you be my girlfriend? You've got to be kidding. We just met today. Do you live there? Yes, I do.
How old are you? I'm 22. What do you do? I'm an engineer. Do you work from home? No, I work in an office as well as outdoors. Where do you live now? I live in New York. How long have you been living there? I've been living here for five years. Do you like it there? Yes, it's a great city with fantastic people. What's your address? 15th Avenue. What's your email address? You can email me at daniel.smith at gmail.com. What's your telephone number? My number is 321-654-987. Can I ask you a few personal questions? Certainly. Are you married? No, I'm single. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't have. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a brother. Do you have a hobby? I like playing sports, especially swimming. Do you have a favorite swimming spot? No, not really. Have you ever been to the beach? I've been to the beach a few times. What sports do you play apart from swimming? I enjoy basketball. Have you gone hiking? Yes, a couple of times. What do you like about hiking? I love the fresh air and the beautiful scenery during hikes. By the way, do you enjoy reading? Yes, I love reading. What do you read? Mostly fictional stories are my favorite. I enjoy nonfiction. What's the last book you read? I recently finished a mystery novel. How many languages can you speak? I only speak English. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Do you feel sick? No, I feel just fine. How long will you be staying here? A couple of days more. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a brother. Do you have a hobby? I like playing sports, especially swimming. Do you have a favorite swimming spot? No, not really. Have you ever been to the beach? I've been to the beach a few times. What sports do you play apart from swimming? I enjoy basketball. Have you gone hiking? Yes, a couple of times. What do you like about hiking? I love the fresh air and the beautiful scenery during hikes. By the way, do you enjoy reading? Yes, I love reading. What do you read? Mostly fictional stories are my favorite. How about you? I enjoy nonfiction. What's the last book you read? I recently finished the mystery novel. How many languages can you speak? I only speak English. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Do you feel sick? No, I feel just fine. How long will you be staying here? A couple of days more. When are you leaving? I'm leaving on Monday. What time are you leaving? I'm leaving at 10 a.m. Are you going by flight? No, I'm taking a ride. Where are your parents? They are back home in Texas. Do you miss them? Yes, a lot. What do you miss most about them? Mom's cooking and Dad's jokes. Are you allergic to anything? Yes, I'm allergic to cats. How was your trip? It was so fun. When is your birthday? January 1st. Where is the closest bus stop? It's about 200 meters down the street. Excuse me, where is the bathroom? The bathroom is next door. How much does it cost? It costs 77. I would like to order food, please. Sure. 
What would you like to order? What time is it? It is 9 30. When are you leaving? I'm leaving on Monday. What time are you leaving? I'm leaving at 10 a.m. Are you going by flight? No, I'm taking a ride. Where are your parents? They're back home in Texas. Do you miss them? Yes, a lot. What do you miss most about them? Mom's cooking and dad's jokes. Are you allergic to anything? Yes, I'm allergic to cats. How was your trip? It was so fun. When is your birthday? The 1st of January. Where is the closest bus stop? It's about 200 meters down the street. Excuse me, where is the bathroom? The bathroom is next door. How much does it cost? It costs $77. I would like to order food, please. Sure. Would you like to order? What time is it? It is 9 30. Can you help me, please? Of course. What do you need help with? I'm sorry. That's okay. Where is the nearest bus stop? The nearest bus stop is Shopping Mall. May I have the menu, please? Here is the menu. Can you show me on the map? Sure, let me show you. I need a doctor. I will call a doctor for you. I'm lost. Don't worry, I will help you find your way. How do you say this in English? This is called cherry. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is green. I love to travel. That's great. Where have you been? How was your day? My day was good. How about yours? What do you do for a living? I work as a salesperson. Can you recommend a good restaurant? I recommend Red Lobster. Hello, may I speak to David? Hold on. Can you help me, please? Of course. What do you need help with? I'm sorry. That's okay. Where is the nearest bus stop? The nearest bus stop is Shopping Mall. May I have the menu, please? Here is the menu. Can you show me on the map? Sure. Let me show you. I need a doctor. I will call a doctor for you. I'm lost. Don't worry. I will help you find your way. How do you say this in English? This is caught cherry. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is green. I love to travel. That's great. Where have you been? How was your day? My day was good. How about yours? What do you do for a living? I work as a salesperson. Can you recommend a good restaurant? I recommend Red Lobster. Hello. May I speak to David? Hold on. May I speak to Alex? He's not around here right now. May I leave a message? Absolutely. Give me a second. Let me get a pen. How can I help you? I'd like to make an appointment to see Dr. Wilson. I can help you with that. May I have your name, please? It's Alex Thompson. What's your address? 31 King Street. Do you have preferred date and time for the appointment? I'm quite flexible, but preferably sometime next week in the afternoon. All right. How about Tuesday at 3 p.m.? That works for me. If you have any further questions, 
feel free to reach out. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Are you new here? Yes, I do not know anybody. Who did you talk to on the phone? I talked to my girlfriend. What did you guys talk about? Mom, we just discussed our plans for the weekend. Would you like something to eat? No, thanks. I'm full. Where did Andrew go? He went to the drugstore. Where do you live? I live in Singapore. Hello, may I speak to Alex? He's not around here right now. May I leave a message? Absolutely. Give me a second. Let me get a pen. How can I help you? I'd like to make an appointment to see Dr. Wilson. I can help you with that. May I have your name, please? It's Alex Thompson. What's your address? 31 King Street. Do you have preferred date and time for the appointment? I'm quite flexible, but preferably so tight next week in the afternoon. All right. How about Tuesday at 3.15 p.m.? That works for me. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Are you new here? Yes. I do not know anybody. Who did you talk to on the phone? I talked to my girlfriend. What did you guys talk about? Mom, we just discussed our plans for the weekend. Would you like something to eat? No thanks. I'm full. Where did Andrew go? He went to the drugstore. Where do you live? I live in Singapore. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable. Keep practicing, stay consistent, and don't forget to come back for more lessons. Don't forget to leave your comments and let us know what topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to reach out to us in the comments section. We're here to help you on your journey to English fluency.